Good morning friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TCR Connecting Agriculture. Today I will be presenting you about how to establish a millet processing unit and its layout and design. In order to establish a millet processing unit, you need 4 to 5 machines. First the grader cum aspirator. Primary cleaning is done using a grader cum aspirator with support of different sieve sizes. Grader separates good quality grain from stick, big stones, sand, grasses, eggs and etc. Here the material with different shapes and sizes get separated. Selection of the correct sieve type and size is crucial in this process. Proper care should be taken to prevent material from closing. Machine operator should use a brush to make sure the material does not clog. For small millet processing, we normally use a triple deck grader with three sieves. The top sieve will separate long sticks, big stones, grasses, etc. which are bigger in size than the grain. The middle sieve will separate the good grain and the bottom sieve will separate the coarse and fine sand. And second is the destoner cum aspirator. The material coming from the grader is sent to a destoner for removing small stones and mud balls which are identical in size. Destoner is a gravity separator which separates material based on the weight of the material. The destoner has two sieves under the hopper which creates the material coming from the hooper. The graded material falls on the destoner bed where the lighter material moves toward the front end and the heavier material moves toward the rear end. The aspirator attached to the destoner will remove the fine dust and sand particles. The air adjustment slot has to be adjusted carefully depending upon the material. If there is no flow backward, we have to open the slot and adjust to flow the stones backward. This toner is suitable for removing stones and impurities from various millets. Here one thing to add, it is better to have a variable frequency drive. It is used in electromechanical drive systems to control AC motor speed and torque by varying motor input frequency and voltage. It will lessen mechanical and electrical stress, reducing maintenance and repair cost, and extending the life of the motor and the driven equipment. Dehuller cum aspirator the raw material after going through a rigorous process of cleaning in the grader and destoner is sent for hux removal to the dehuller. A centrifugal dehuller has a impeller which is responsible for the hux removal. The material is sent to the hooper which then enters the impeller where it gets thrown with a greater centrifugal force onto the impeller casing. Due to the he heavy impact, the hux gets separated from the grain and is sent to the aspirator, where the lighter hux is collected at the back and the grain is collected at the front. There are two types of millet dehuller. One is single centrifugal dehuller and other is the double centrifugal dehuller. In single centrifugal dehuller, this machine is most suitable for dehulling small millets like kodo, proso and burned millets. And in double centrifugal dehuller, it has two chambers for removing skin of millets like little and foxtail millet. 
and next is the pulverizer. In pulverizer, the grains could be grinded to a fine powder. Double chamber is provided in which the grinding process takes place. In the first chamber, initial crushing process takes place and in the next chamber, grains are made into a fine powder. And the next comes the processing unit design and layout. To establish a millet processing unit, you need at least 25 into 25 feet space with proper flooring and at least half feet concrete laid under the flooring where the machines will be installed. The height of the walls should at least be 10 feet tall with exhaust fan in all the four corners. All machines have to be installed using foundation bolts to arrest vibration and also balance properly. Machine installation is critical because it would directly affect the life of the machine and its performance. Uh, hope you friends like my video. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up and uh, keep watching my video and I will be coming with a new and inter interesting video next time. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.